Hey designers, in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to make this cool button with this really interesting effect that will blow up the minds of your clients. So let's start. All right, guys, I have uh, these assets ready for us. Uh, that's the card icon, buy text, and the check mark icon. Now let's make it button. Uh, first of all, uh, let's turn this uh, black color to white like this. And now we need to make a frame. Uh, so we click A and we make a frame. Uh, for example, it will be uh, 240 by 80 pixels. That's gonna be our frame for the button. Uh, let's call it a button, not just a frame. Let's call it a button like this. And now uh, the trick is that we need to uh, make another rectangle inside, these, inside of this button, right? Or another frame. So let's make another frame inside this button frame. So we click on the frame, so let's make it there. And um, to see the frame, uh, let's um, uh, fill, uh, let's change the fill of it and let's make it blue uh, with a gradient. So we choose gradient, uh, we choose a blue color here, for example, this one, and this one's gonna be a little bit darker blue. So let's change it this way and let's put it this way. And now let's change the size of this uh, rectangle or frame yep so it's going to be like this and uh, i want to change a little bit uh, the color no, i don't like the color right now so i'll make it smaller like this and here i'll change it this way and this way uh, this one is too dark i think so i'll make it a little bit lighter and this one a little bit lighter too like this all right uh, here yep <laughs> Uh, so now it's ready. Let's make it. You now let's make round corners. So we'll press 100 uh, for the round corners. And this inside frame, let's uh, make round corners too. Okay, like this 100, 100. Um, now let's put these um, assets inside. So we'll put the, the card icon, the buy text, and the check mark icon. First of all, we need to make the check mark in the center of everything. So we'll put it like this. And now let's mm, center uh, the card icon with the by text. So we use align center and then let's change the spacing. Uh, so we put 40 percent uh, uh, 40 uh, pixels space between the card icon and the by text. So now they're in the center. Uh, so this is like the first, it's going to be the first state of our uh, button. Uh, but we need to move uh, the check mark inside of this button upwards. So uh, we'll get the animation when it drops down. Uh, the important thing is that uh, currently we have the clip content on. Uh, so that's why when I move uh, something uh, that goes outside the frame, it stays inside the frame. You see, I don't see it, but Mm, it's it is inside the frame right but it's it goes outside like this but it stays inside uh, we also can use the mode uh, the outline mode uh, shift o if we press and we see all the outlines so when we move on this check mark up uh, it goes up and it stays inside inside the frame uh, and we see that it's there right because sometimes when when the clip content is on, we don't we don't know that there is something inside the frame, uh, but it's outside the visible part of it. So this is like the first the first stage. Uh, so let's uh, call it a button slash uh, default, and let's make a copy. But before oh yeah, let's make a copy and. Here we put active, active, and also I want to add shadow. So I press add shadow. Yeah, here, and let's make it blue. Let's add more blur. I don't see anything because there is a clip content uh, switch on on the outside frame, on the main frame. So here we'll click on it and we'll see the gradient. Oh, we'll see the shadow now, but we'll leave the clip content on the inside frame. So this is important. Uh, so now uh, let's click on the uh, main, uh, on the on the button, that, on the frame that's inside the main frame and uh, change the shadow a little bit. I wanna move it down 
like so and I want to make it for example about 80% uh, of tr um, transparency like this okay so now we have two basically almost identical buttons uh, but this one it should be active so we go inside this frame and we move our check mark uh, to the middle of it and these two uh, buttons they should go outside right now let's make the the button smaller so we click on the frame and we click option command on mac or Control alt on windows and let's make it 120 so this way when i move from one side to another uh, both sides are decreasing now i choose the icons and i move them to the right like so and i want to move it all the way uh, outside of this main uh, main frame okay like this and it should be for example about 24 and uh, let's open our outline mode choose the card icon and here it should be about 24 so like this okay so this is our second button so now we have two states uh, now we should select them going to component and create component set checks like this and now we click on the first state going to prototype and we connect the first one with the second one and here we we use on click change to and here we use smart and made and now we can use custom spring or bounce it if you want to you want to bounce it but i think it's too quick so we'll use custom spring and here we'll uh, make it a little bit slower uh, for example this way we'll move it you know you should play, uh, play around with it but i think this this is okay it looks okay and um now we should we should change this uh, to 1000 milliseconds so it's kind of slow you know not too fast not too slow and now we click on the second state of our component and connect it with the first state and here is going to be the same thing the same thing so when we click on the button uh, the first state we're going to the second state and from the second state we should return to this first state so uh, it should be not on click but we use after delay and after delay we use um, about uh, 300 milliseconds let's put it this way so um, let's see it in action now we use our frame let's make it uh, iphone pro max let's do it this way and in prototype let's choose iphone pro max now with the option click or alt click we move our button to this frame now we press shift spacebar to open our prototype and let's see it in action i click the button and i see this cool animation guys i hope this video was useful for you and i hope you like it so please uh, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye bye